and everyone, Doris at DF Designs. Okay, this is going to be, it's not really an experiment, except it, on my part it is. I'm going to try to get some cells in the piece today. And maybe you'll see something that I'm doing wrong. Maybe you'll see something I'm doing right. Um, we'll see. Anyway, I wanted to have this out first because I want to remind you when I reach 100 subscribers, there will be a drawing to give this away. Free shipping in the United States. Um, and whoever, if the winner is in another country, then I will tell them what the shipping will be and then they won't have to, uh, you know, all they have to pay is the shipping. Um, anyway, listen, um, the, I know this is an odd shape. I got some shape yesterday from a, from a place online and I thought, well, I'll try to do some swiping on it. I'm going to start with my, uh, stone coat countertops, black base tint. Um, the gold is going to be on the, the bright gold by just resin is going to be on there. You've seen me use that. I'm going to use this ruby powder powder pigment by just resin and this is rose pink I can't remember if this was the one no it's the lavender yesterday this is the one that um um I had to give it a bath this morning <laughs> I know that sounds weird but that's what that's what you have to do you put if they come in if you order some and they come in solidified what you do is is you put it into a, a little tub of warm water only up to about right right to the to where the uh lid's at the where the uh threads start you let it sit there you take it out you dry it off really good you don't want any water in your um in your uh, sorry about that in your uh um pigment and then basically um basically you um um sorry i I heard somebody saying the other day that I shouldn't say um so much, and of course, because I am thinking about it, I say it too much, okay? Um, you don't want the um, the water to get in there or it'll ruin the whole jar of your pigment, because it, um, it's meant for resin, not for, um, there I go again, not for uh, um, water-based applications, okay? Um, this one I, is a powder. So I'm going to have to add some to a cup. Oh, that's pretty. Um, not really sure how much I'm going to need, but with powder at least, I mean, you can't take the color out, but if you put too much in, it just makes it too dark is what it is. Okay, got that one in there. I remembered to put my, um, put my powder in before I added my uh, resin to it oh I was counting my cups I lost track I'm thinking why do I have two cups over there in front of one container that's right one of them is for black okay and then the last one for some gold I don't know if I'm going to do any coasters with these um I might be giving away some coasters eventually, too, you know. All depends on um, what everybody, um, you know. I'm going to have uh, probably some, some uh, sponsor uh, giveaways. I haven't decided yet if I want to try to get sponsors. I mean, the, all the support I need is just... Uh, just you guys commenting and, and liking and everything. So anyway, okay, let me mix this guy up first just to get the powder up from the bottom. This is the uh, rose pink. No, let me turn this around. It is the ruby um, powder pigment from Just Resin. Ooh, that is so pretty. That's going to be kind of like a darker color than the rose pink. Now, the Stone Coat Countertop's base tint is going to be the one on the bottom. Mm. I put it in the squeeze bottle. It doesn't come in this, but I put it in the squeeze bottle because it's easy to shake it up. And it's easier to open than, their, than the container that they give you because once you've got some of that uh, stuff on there, 
it um okay I don't know if that's too much I hope that isn't too much you it, there's a fine line with the base coat tints for when it comes to using them for cells um too much and you're not going to get the cells too much heat and you're not going to get the cells either okay that's definitely opaque I hope I didn't put too much in there uh oh and oh I forgot to add this powder into here hopefully you get in you get inspired to try swiping by watching this today or you get inspired by the colors I will list all the color names down below the um, video so all you gotta do is click that little button underneath that says show more and you'll go into my description up oh, unicorns farts stirring too fast for the powder that's in there um, somebody did tell me I can say unicorn farts on YouTube and not get censored so from now on I'm gonna call these little guys when they poop out of the cup unicorn farts I love this gold I love 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 this gold um what I'm probably gonna do um, if I don't do coasters, I'm going to do more, um, more of these, um, shot glasses. And I do promise you, I will have a video coming up where, hang on, I'm trying to make sure I don't put too much in there. Okay, there we go. Um, I will have a video coming up hopefully this month showing you after you've poured all your excess mold uh, mold after you pour all your excess resin into these shot glass molds and you can get these I've seen them at Walmart and I've seen them at the uh, I know Michaels has them or Hobby Lobby might have them too and they make little shot glasses and I do plan on showing you a video of demolding them to sand and a clear coat. This one is a little transparent. Mm. But I will live with it. I will live with it. Okay. First thing I want to do is I want to put my base tint down. This is my black. I probably got way too much, but we will find out. Okay, there we go. Come on, get that last drip off. Okay, um, I'm going to push it all up to the edge first. And then I'm going to go in and pop all the air bubbles that I might have. Um, you can use a heat gun to pop your air bubbles. You can use a, a, a torch. Um, you know, and you can get one of those. I got a little, oh, what's it called? Um, it's made by this, it's a Ronson um, torch. Um, it's made by the same company that makes the uh, butane. Anyway, um. I am. Um, I got one of those. It's refillable. They're not very expensive, or you can get um, off of Amazon or one or a kitchen store that has you know the the kitchen stuff. You can get um, creme. Bou I think they're called creme brulee. They're they're the torch that you use to to brown the meringue on a pie. That's about all of my cooking knowledge really. With those things, um, I've never used one for that. Um, I just decided to get the Ronson one when I was picking up, the, and then I found the butane right next to it. Okay, there we go. Wipe off my pinky. Okay, now I'm going to do the torch this time, just so you can see. Just so you can see how to do the torch. Okay, blow it away. When you first turn it on, blow it away for about five seconds away from your piece. Because if there's any little dust bunnies in there, you don't want to 
um, blow them out on your piece because oh let me tell you you get a piece of dust in your resin and you got to pick it out okay let me I feel like I got a dry spot right there I just primed this this morning and I hope I I could have sworn to God it was all dry oh well if I end up with a pit I will show you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Um, well, after this, I'll show you how yesterday's turned out. Okay. Um, I'm basically going to do two wide stripes across, and then I'm going to pull some of it down and pull some of it back up. That's why I think I got way too much um, um, resin made, but shot glasses are always cute. I may end up adding some on the other side. It all depends on how my swiping works. And I think I'm going to put a little line of the gold right down the middle. Just to get a little gold action going. Because this, this gold is just so pretty. Okay, swipey paper. The swipey paper that I use is basically freezer paper, okay? You don't need to buy any um, special types of papers. It's freezer paper, okay? And it's best to use the shiny side. And I always tear them to fit whatever I'm doing. Okay, there's the shiny side. Now you wanna get, you wanna get your, see, this is the problem I have, getting the, the edge, getting the curl out of it. Okay, basically what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to let it touch, and you can see that it's swiping. That might turn into cells. And basically what I'm doing is, is I'm just getting rid of the excess on there. Okay, there's the shiny side. I think I'm going to try try doing it this way. Okay, and you don't want to go fast. You want to get it in the resin, let it pick up some of the resin. You don't want to push it down too far into the resin. You basically just want to drag the colors right there. Oh, that looks like it's going to be a pretty swipe. Bye, George. I might have gotten it. We'll see. Okay, now I'm going to do the heat gun just to pop air bubbles and see if I get any cells. Air gun, or heat gun, I mean, you do it the same way with the as you do the torch. You blow it away from your piece in any other direction for five seconds to let it um, blow the dust bunnies out. Okay, now it's going in there and it's popping the air bubbles. And, I believe, I got cells. Okay, I want to blow just a little bit of, the, of this color towards that way to kind of fill in the black. And I want to blow that gold up just a little bit. Yeah, I got some cells. I got some cells. I am so happy. I couldn't be... I mean, if I, if I wasn't standing here with a heat gun and worried about getting dust all over it, I would probably be jumping up and down for joy. But, look at that. I got cells. Oh my God. I am so happy. Um, I don't know if I've got another board or not, but, um, I may just do a whole other board. Um, I don't have one fixed, 
with the uh, thing on the back with the tape. Okay, anyway, well, listen, I'm not going to make this that long of a video. I'm not going to do much more. Aha, uh -huh, I see something in there. So you got to kind of look at it at an angle. Tweezers are better to pull stuff out than the, um, oh, that looks like some crud from the, uh, either from the resin cup that I reused and I didn't wipe it out good enough, or... Or it could be, aha, there's a little piece too. Let me get rid of what's on the back. So you got to kind of look at it sideways to see. Tell you the truth, I don't see much more. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to end this video now. I got cells. I am so happy I haven't gotten cells like this yet in any of my pieces. So listen, if um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, um, click the subscribe button and hit the little bell to get the notifications. Um, every subscriber counts. If you are a subscriber, share my video. Get some more subscribers in so I can get to um, get to um, um, one. Yeah, one, one, I was going to say 500 to 100 likes. And then I will be giving away that beautiful painting. Um, I'm going to, let me see, I'm going to cover that up because I got to, um, see, I've been leaving the piece right here, letting it dry. Oh, look at those pretty, pretty cells. Oh, this, uh, I'm going to jump up and down for joy anyway. Hopefully I don't get any dust on it. Anyway, thank you all for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to um, hit the thumbs up and be ready um, soon for the giveaway. Okay? Bye for now.